Okay, we're near um, the barrier uh, where the protest with Maidan, and Maidan is actually down the road and we'll be going there shortly. But uh, my buddy here, Costa, uh, is living in Kiev, working in Kiev. He's Ukrainian. And we could see this flag here. And uh, Costa, why don't you explain about this flag here, this red and black flag? Yeah, this flag is uh, for the um, military, uh, which was uh, uh, in the times of uh, World War War II. Uh, they used it uh, uh, some guys from the, uh, the territory of uh, uh, Karpaty, no? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's called uh, Ukrainian Rebel. Uh, army and uh, uh, these guys was cooperating with uh, Nazi. Okay, we not cooperate. They were collaborators with yeah. the Nazis. They were really uh, Ukraine people that were pro-Nazi, and they're back in power, aren't they? Uh, yes. And uh, yeah. uh, so we have this flag here, and look at this. We have a really worn-out EU flag. And uh, EU is just going to suck Ukraine dry, just as uh, the IMF and the World Bank will do on the United States side. And we have uh, what? What does the the first Ukraine flag? What is that one saying there? Uh, I'm not sure about it. Uh, I think it looks like it's backwards to our point of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, the next one is called uh, Sotnya. Some uh, uh, Sotnya. It's called Twenty uh, Hundred. So this is some kind of military which was operated here on Maidan uh, during the uh, uh, February and uh, war between uh, Maidan and the uh, military. Which uh -huh. was there. And, and if you take a look, you see that all Ukrainian flags are very dirty. But yeah. th that one is new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I noticed that too. So, um, basically, you, in your opinion, you know, you're saying the same thing as I said. This is um, Western-backed, Western-funded uh, people tried to get power, steal power from the legal people that uh, uh, the uh, president that was here, that was forced out. Yes. He was pretty much useless. He was a tool, but he actually loved Ukraine and trying for a better future. He was just weak and allowed other people to uh, usurp his power, take his power up away. Actually, yeah, I'm not sure that uh, maybe he was uh, a patriot, but uh, he was uh, also a great robber, so he yeah. grabbed a lot. Yeah, well, and they all do, don't they? Yeah, <laughs> as, as usual. Yeah. And uh, so. the best, the, the huge mistake was that he keeps his money on the yeah. West banks and uh, they try to manipulate. That, that's that's uh, the worst thing. Now, as with the uh, last video, here's some of the props that they have here. Uh, to show tourists actually, and stuff. Actually, that's uh, the last tires, which is a uh, yeah. burn. Uh, yeah, but they're leaving week, it a here week, a week ago. So uh, they, they they burn a week ago. Right. When uh, uh, the Klitschko told that uh, we should uh, uh, close this. Circuit yeah. And, yeah. Uh, uh, but this is purely for tourism and yeah, things yeah, like yeah. this. It, they're they're like what I call props and. We could see right here uh, a fake Molotov cocktail. I don't even know if it's got uh, real uh, gas in there. Here. Yeah. Let's take this. And no, there's no gas in this. No gas in this. It smells like oil. Um, I don't know what's in here, but it's definitely not gasoline. Fake. So. So these are all props. It's enough for uh, yeah. photographs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we see this here, and look at this. <laughs> this thing, a tank or a car hits this, this thing is going to go flying. It's not attached to anything. 
this is really ridiculous. And uh, it, it's funny. Look at look at the two uh, oil barrels here. Uh, we have uh, <laughs> mobile. <laughs> we have another mobile, and uh, we have a Ukraine oil company. Yes, and no, I don't it's know Korean. Korean. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Korean. And see this here. And uh, here's something funny. One of the places where. Uh, people are and you can see them sitting inside this place here well I'm gonna end this video and we're gonna head down towards my dawn